2024 season, mm-hmm. guys, ESPN has got out these first um, first several days of games. Yeah. I noticed that first one's actually a week before everybody starts. And I didn't write them all down. Right. And no. Y- y'all can go find them. I'll, I think I did share it on the page. I'll share it on the page again, and y'all can look through them. And they're not all real good. I mean, there's like Kennesaw State versus – Right, SWM, some They're Southwest Missouri style. or something, yeah. But that first time, that first game, it's in Ireland. Florida State's going to play Georgia Tech. Oh, Ireland. it's in Ireland. It's in Ireland. That is August the twenty fourth. That's going to be on uh, that. I guess it's a. That's well, it's officially the, the first before. week of college football. But what people don't understand, though, and I'm not trying to. That's the first. Is it? Is that on a Friday? That's on a Saturday. I'm not Saturday. trying to rain on the parade. Officially, that is the start. But that game, that day is not full of big games. No, no, no. That's no. the biggest game of the day, the one you're talking about. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think there's three or four games, but that that's the only you one. You know, Nebraska that, Northwestern did that. You remember that? I think that's the only one that's kind of like – it's two teams that you'll know. Okay? Right. You, you, you'll know who they are. Now, Thursday, rolling to the next week on the 29th, Dean, I – uh, I just wrote that some of these down and give me back on you. Tell me what you like. Uh, North Carolina at Minnesota. I wrote that at, down. At Fox. I think that's probably the best game of that day. You know, Coach Brown, he's going to give him a little paint to skull. Mm-hmm. Not a sponsor. He's going to give him a little paint to skull and he's going to coach some football. And I, are they probably going to be favored to? I would think now Minnesota, you know, I thought they would be better than they are, but I, I Minnesota is probably not an easy state to recruit. You know, Fleck, the row the boat. Is yeah. that what the yeah? Is that what their yeah. slogan was? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, I think that'll be a very good game. It's the most interesting game of well, no, it's not. The most interesting game in that day is probably the one you're going to say. Next. Yeah, tell me which one you think. I think Coastal Carolina and Jack State. Yeah, I like that one. Um, but the biggest game of the day, nationwide, North Carolina. Well, it's, it's at Jacksonville. And it's going to be a 7 o'clock game on CBS Sports Nation. Uh, get to coach, see Coach Rich Rod. <clears throat> uh-huh. Now, Coastal has uh, – they have lost some players. Yeah. yeah. Um, they got a good program. The though. McCall kid that's at uh, North Carolina State quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Grayson McCall. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's the quarterback at North Carolina State now. Oh, that so help. that ties in with – that's why I said that. He did excellent. Yeah. I did not realize he, he was to, North Carolina State. Oh, he's rolling with a Wolfpack now. Hmm. Well, they lost a bunch. So I think that'll be a good game at Jacksonville State. It'll be on that night on CBS. And here's the one I marked, and you'll, you'll like this one too. Mm-hmm. Uh, North Carolina State at Colorado, 7 o'clock ESPN. It's a primetime game. You're going to see the the Bison. Uh, I don't know how many That's championships. That's on the 29th. How many championships? Yeah, how many? have They got a bunch. Yeah. North, talking about North Dakota State, they got a lot of titles. They're going to be at Colorado and play. I did the, not see that. That's on the – Yeah. That's on that Thursday. Yeah. Wow. I'm I actually I, – I overlooked it. I saw all of them, but I overlooked that one. I like that. I like that one a lot. Yeah, yeah. I love that one. That'll be a – Let's see. That may be the most interesting. Well, and that's what do you that think? Thursday. Do you think that uh, – let me make sure. I think it there's is. possibility for an upset there, but uh, I think maybe Colorado will hold it's true nice. there. And is North Dakota State up for beating a Colorado? Yeah, tell us what you think about Colorado. I mean, with the players that they're going to have and what I think they got they're going to be on. better. I think they're going to be. I don't think they'll yeah. go four and eight. I think the conference is going to be easier. Yeah. Not knocking their conference, but uh, – I missed the date here. No, it's the 29th. It's, it's, yeah, that'd be that Thursday. It's towards the middle of the games there. So, it's right in the middle. North Dakota State at Colorado, 7 o'clock. I'll ESPN. be over here. That'd be a good game. Thursday. That'd be a very good game. No, Thursday you got night. two. You can flip back and forth between that one and Yeah, Jackson. ESPN and CBS. Yeah, I think uh, – Dion's have some bad luck. He decides to go coach Colorado and let's fix to say who's that guy. <laughs> and he's from center. That's David uh, Tay. Uh, and that, a, Pac-10 happens to have the best comp year they've had in how long? 15 years, 10 years. Pac-12 was great last year. Didn't you agree? Uh, Cedar Bluff. 
Who is that they play? It's got the red and the. Oh, was it? it used Hanley? to be good, like, but no, it used to be real good back in the day. It ain't Fultondale, is it? No, it might have been for Fultondale. That's Aniana there, is it not? Uh-uh. No, Aniana brings more fans than. We the watch the game. Team. Sorry, we got tired. Oh, <laughs> uh, but. Um, I just think the back 12 was good last year. They was really good. This is probably the best year they've had, I don't know, in a while. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. I think Colorado will be okay. That's a good test, though. Uh, yeah, I agree. Now, Friday. That's a good. There's not a bunch. On that Friday, man. I didn't see much that Friday, there's man. One, two, I'll just three, be honest four. with you. There's six games. TCU and Stanford That's... was one. Western Michigan and uh, Wisconsin. Um, I like Temple and Oakey. You like Temple and Oakey. Duke plays Michigan State, FMU, Temple, and OU. So if you're an OU fan, um, you can watch at 6 o'clock on ESPN on Friday the 30th. I'd say we'll be at a high school game. That yeah. Day. I won't worry about that. Temple at OU is the only one I even. That's the only one I'm interested in. Yeah, I don't, I mean. For Friday. So. TCU Stanford is not interesting to us around here. Well, I mean, if you're sitting up late and you're laying there on the couch, I mean, it's not that bad, is it? We may come in and, and catch yeah. the – just because we love football and they come in and watch some of that one. Um, so that's kind of Friday. Now, Saturday oh, – Can I say one, something? Two, three, it's not as no, great as I seven. thought it was. It's not as great as I thought. It's good. Um, It's about it's what not, I expected. Not as, it's not a bold day lineup. It, it's got it's it's enough to to keep you around. I like that the good games are early though. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, go ahead. Which ones? Well, I like the eleven o'clock Clemson. Yeah, Georgia. me too. I got that's a big circle game. That look, man. That's a that's huge to kick off the season. Dabo is you know he's just been prominent to say that he don't worry about the portal, <laughs> that he don't like this or that, but he does like young men. Mm. Now you can take that however you want. That's what he said. <laughs> I mean, I know we I, know what he meant. I know right? what he meant. But, but I'm but, sure people are having a ball with that, right? Yeah, they're like, yeah. Oh, so you're like young boys. Oh, man. You, listen, that. man, Dabo Sweeney is a he's a knockout guy. Yeah, he, he, he he's he, he's a little quirky and he was roommated with our You can't say nothing anymore. Post Herald owner over here, runner Scott, they were roommates and yeah. you could ask Scott, man. He Dabo's a can't. great guy. He's the kind of guy you'd want to marry your daughter or something. I mean, he just yeah. – so it, people are being funny. And I ain't heard nobody be stupid out of the way with it. But No, well, you can't say, hey, you like coaching girls or boys basketball better. I like boys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, got a gob of cheese. <laughs> They're stupid. awful. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Penn State at West Virginia, 11 o'clock on Fox. By the way, the Georgia – at Georgia is going to be 11 on ABC. I don't think – I don't see us turning that one, do you? No, uh, maybe halftime they see what Penn – because Penn State – Hey, West Virginia claims they're better. I'm curious about that game. That's I wrote some of these down just out of – the reason I do a lot of this, honestly, mm. I'm just curious. Yeah. I'm honestly just thinking – That's well, fine. Well, that's, what, what team's better out of these, you know? I'm thinking that's a big game. What about Miami at Florida? That's the big one. 2.30, ABC. I'm very interested in this very game. Very good. I did this once already about a month ago when these come out. We didn't know times then. Miami at Florida, 2.30, ABC. And that was the one that I was talking about, you know, Sebastian the Stork's going to ride down to the swamp and mm-hmm. he's going to put a stomp on the Gators. But what if, what if Billy the Kid, what Florida, if? Florida may be better than what we think. Is there any possibility that, Cam Ward and Mertz, they're going to battle this out. Mm-hmm. Is there any – you always want to – I like, you know, we did this every week. I like the home team and, and pick the who's the best quarterback. So, the home team is going to be Florida. Mm-hmm. But is Graham better than Cam? I don't know. Cam can run it. Most people don't know about Cam Ward. Yeah. We started at Washington State, and at one time they were fantastic. Now, they lost there towards the end. But you remember early in the year, well, like through seven games, they were winning the conference or right up there, you know. And we just say it, I, and I hate to do both, but I think this is – I'm sorry. This That's when Jacob broke the record at, at Terry Kim. For most play with their yards rushing. rushing leader. Yeah. Broke Michael Johnson's record. Got right? it on record right there. Find all these videos on YouTube and just go to the playlist and you can see uh, like school uh, I still want video, to... sports videos. And I got t- – a lot of them on there from years I've been doing them for years on here. Jacob rushed for about fifty six, uh, seven hundred just at center. 
I think he had over 7,000 in his career. Yeah. Um, so is there a possibility that – can Florida win that game? I think so. I don't think they will, but – They just need some stuff to yeah. – balls to bounce that your way. That is a good game. Good game. The balls bounce right your way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else on that uh, that day now? Uh, I got Notre Dame and Texas A&M. I do too. I, I 630 that. ABC. What do you think? I think we're going to find out how good Notre Dame is. I, I put a big star by that one because I like them too. Florida mm-hmm. game and Notre Dame. And I think we're going to find out how not good. And I don't mean that. Not A&M. Bad, but yeah. Well, I mean, they, they overcompensate for them. I don't know why they do that. I saw a thing the other day that said that he's the, one of the best quarterbacks in the conference. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, he ain't even played much, has he? <laughs> Wegnan, is that his name? We Clint something. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure he's fine. But yeah. Well, we don't know. We don't know. I We did a preview on them when we pick them to go seven and five. Yeah. They won seven or eight games. Uh, they don't look any more bolsterous or appealing than Auburn to me. I think Sunday we'll be on here going, Notre Dame looked pretty good last night. <laughs> and A&M is going to be what we said. Well, He's a good coach, and I, I think a lot of the media people, fine bams, and all them guys really like him. And sometimes you, you let your Freeman. yeah, yeah. Your, your your no Elko. 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 I think some of the times they let their feelings get involved a little bit, and they think well, we really like this guy. Gosh, like I hate picking Arkansas to only win six games. No, oh, no, we love. Uh, I think we had them with five, didn't we? At most, I picked him. I mean, he's been our. We always pick a coach of the year. We'll pick a you know ACC coach of the year, and we do our players of the year, and just people that we think you know deserve. We pick defensive coach of the year, Coach yeah. Ragsdale. We talked about him, and man, he talked about him and talked about him. He didn't get enough recognition. Yeah, no, he's a head man. Yeah, and we might have got that for him. No, I don't think so. <laughs> he 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 did all the work, the time he's put in. But I hate to pick against A and M in that game. 6.30 ABC. Mm-hmm. Nah, my gut's telling me Notre Dame. I would think Notre Dame. Uh, and also Western Kentucky and Bama lock up at 6. ESPN, Bama's game. The first time you're not going to see Nick Saban. My son has never seen another coach on the sideline but Nick Saban. So it'll be August. Wait a minute. It's August 3rd. He'll, he'll still be around, but he'll get to see – Nick Saban not being on the sideline the first time in his life. Now, we remember, what you know, before. I mean, yeah. Gosh, I don't remember much about it no more. I don't. It's been 17 years. I remember Sheila being there. Yeah, I mean, I do. And I remember being – I feel disappointed. Mm-hmm. But I knew if we always, could, you know, make bowl games and you could beat Auburn, Tennessee, and we play Georgia every other year, you know, be competitive and win those games. So, And he had a couple of good years. Yeah. I mean – Bama played for the SEC some still yeah. in the 90s. I mean, Florida was running the show. Right, right. And our, Steve Spurrier. And LSU was okay. kind of running it by the time. Well, Nick was there, there late 90s and, and 2000s. Come around. So. Um, Georgia was good when Nick Saban first. Because I think that was so big when they beat them, you know, when they had Stafford and Marino. Yeah. You remember? Yeah. So Georgia. I mean, they wasn't winning it, but they were pretty good with Rick right through there. Mark Rick. Yeah, that was the blackout game. Yeah. Those years. Yeah, but the years before that, they were so, they done pretty well. West Kentucky, Bamba's comes to board. You get to see them. I, I'm, That's obviously our most interesting game for us. Now, here's one that I'm interested in, and I know that in the Bama game, I said 6 o'clock ESPN. Southern Miss is going to be at Kentucky. So, Kentucky fans, 645 on SEC Network. That's uh, later in the day. Mm-hmm. That's going to be – um, probably halftime of the Bama. I'm sure I'll flip over there. I want to see QB play mm-hmm. at Kentucky. I want to see how he's don't doing. Vandergriff. I, I really liked him. I always aggravated birds a lot. If he ever got tired of him seeing him to Bama, that's where we got me a row. I like him, man. Mm-hmm. I just do. I think he's a good quarterback. Uh, you always said that. Well, we're fixing to find out because gonna he's going to be their quarterback. Any else on that day? I didn't see nothing else on that day. I don't either. 
Um, Notre Dame main ones, obviously, being Clemson and Georgia. Yeah, Miami and Florida. And then it's kind of set up. You got a good 11, you got a good 230, and you got a good six. Yeah. And you're going to put on the Alabama game just because you're Alabama. But I don't think that's going to be an interesting game. Not by halftime, though. No, be. no. I, I want to see. I want to. Everybody is curious. Everybody's going to watch that. Auburn fans are going to watch that. Georgia fans will, will definitely click over there for sure. They're going because they're all curious to see how mm-hmm. how Milro has learned mm-hmm. and expanded himself yeah. with a real QB whisper. Because we have, well, you have a real um, offensive coach that's really this guy says it's Shepherd. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Sheridan, I keep saying I, I think it's I say it's Tommy Reese. Uh, I think it's, it's Sheridan, the guy he was him and uh Crane uh, Blaine, um, David Cohn that's on Crane and Company. They were I'm like roommates or something. I'm really curious. And he, DeBoer said he's letting him call the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's not gonna fool with him. I'm, I'm so he's right gonna here. be head coach, and everybody's gonna tune in to see how Mill Rose, how is his arm action. Uh, you know, what does his footwork look like on these seven, eight, nine yard passes? And also, people are going to be curious about this offensive line, man. I, I don't know. You, you can call it whatever you want to and say however you want to. And and people are going to dumb it down and try to play dumb with it and try to be silly about it. But mm-hmm. Bama's offensive line is going to be they're gonna be good. One of the best lines in the conference, for sure. I'm just telling you. Well, I read about. Uh, Don't go to sleep on that line. I read. You're not a fan of him, but I read a lot about Proctor because I was studying Iowa. They're not real happy about him coming back down here. I didn't know he went to Iowa first off. He's done the Iowa to Bama he to did. Iowa back to Bama. He did what Coleman did from Auburn Bama back to Auburn. Shared in your yeah shared. Sheridan. Yeah, Nick's uh he's he's smart. I'm curious to see how he has adapted a game plan for Milro. And then I'll 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 say Well, uh, he's pe- supposed to be good. People are gonna be curious. Who don't want to see how good the, the new Alabama coach is gonna be? Because people are ready. Uh other fans of other teams are ready to burn him. Yeah. That's it. It's over. What a joke. New owner in the state, Hugh Freeze owning the state and recruiting. Uh, well, Auburn does have a lot of yeah. – they've got about 15 Just, in-state recruits. His name know. Kalen or Kellen? Kalen. Yeah, Kellen DeBoer. Kellen DeBoer, okay. So, people are ready to drown him on it, especially Auburn fans because it's a rival. Guys are supposed to – they're supposed to get fired up. Auburn ain't – they don't get to be fired up about much. So, when they have – they've had terrible years. Well, Jalen Stalin's lost his first two or three games, you know. Yeah. I think he went on to be pretty good. Uh, he uh, won one, nearly won another. Or they finished one year there. They went 11 and one with a one point loss, finished in top five. So, John Stalins was great. Now, Klubnik versus Beck, we talked about that early game. Uh, you know, I like it. We think Georgia will have the edge, but uh, Clemson's not uh, gonna make it easy. I want to see how Georgia defensive line pushes back. Mm. I want to see how they fight. Right. And we're gonna talk about Georgia and the mess. <laughs> it's uh, a lot worse than I thought. September 1st, Sunday game. Mm-hmm. USC plays LSU in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's the game to watch that What day. about that? I was uh, – I liked it being on the Sunday, I, and I'm not moving ahead, but I was surprised that there wasn't more on Monday, and there's not. Yeah, Monday. What are you uh, – you going? It's, Boston College is going to play 630 ESP, and they're going to play at Florida State. I just didn't – Florida I didn't, State lost a lot, all their skill guys. I don't know if I'll – I mean, I'll watch it, but I don't have a lot of interest in it. I, I do sure like the LSU-USC. Yeah, it's in Las Vegas. Yeah. Now, with that, we'll have to – we'll be doing a show, and then we'll just come on right after that. I mean, when we get done, we'll go. Yeah. We'll have to go on early that Yeah, day. yeah, we may come on early. Uh, and and was that, the 30? The That's the first, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I was surprised. There's usually a great game that Monday night. But Monday night football, we'll have um, – And there's not. Florida State's going to host Boston College. I just – I, well, I think Boston College is supposed to be okay. But. I want to see Florida State. I want to see how good they are. People, same thing with Bama. We want to see the quarterback play. Lost some skill guys. You want to see mm-hmm. how they do. You ain't seen Bama's running backs. We don't. Nobody's really seen Hayes or, or Jam. No, I, I don't know. I hear good things. I hear things. 
Uh, any other games on them? That is so we all I've got. The main four, I, I mean, oh, here's another one. I'm sorry. It's on the 24th. May be good. SMU in Nevada. I did look at that. Now, yeah. well, SMU. That may be. That may be interesting. Well, that little, you can see it right there. The Xbox there, mm-hmm. I've been playing some. So I play these teams, and they got the live rosters. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's got the real players on there at these teams. It's ain't like the game used to be. Right. They're pretty good, man. Yeah, they're supposed to be very good. They are pretty good. Top 20 at least. And Nevada's not bad. Well, you know, we don't hear a lot about no, Nevada. No, just it's I mean, out there. So we just don't. You're not going to come over here to Matt's one what. Saturday and us be watching Nevada instead of. Yeah, we got ribs cooking and wings going. We're watching <laughs> Nevada and USCLA. <laughs> no, no, that's not going to happen. Here. Uh, so. I, you going to flip it to the Florida State game? No. no. i tell you another one, too. And uh, since we brought the game and playing the game. Um, Colorado, man. Travis Hunter. Mm. Now, is he just going to play one side this year? Uh, he's on the game. He's on both. When I've heard rumors <laughs> that he may not be a two-way player anymore. It says just too much. Well, the NFL guys told Dion, tell him to lock in. And I know well, he's a dog. He just likes to play out both ways. All the way, he's going to get hurt. And he's going to mm. cost himself about $5 million. Yeah. So, quit trying to build hype videos. Tell him. We're telling you, Travis, pick a side. Well, which side? What do you predict? He's a better corner than he is receiver. I would probably think so. But he likes catching the ball. Yeah. Probably let him play defense and, and bring him Run in, punts. take some kicks, some, take some punts. And that would off. be the obvious that's what I would happy do. medium there. Yeah. That's play what safety. I would. Or no, play corner and be a punt returner and kick returner. But SMU's pretty good on the game. Mm-hmm. Um, Nevada. Colorado's I, good on the game. Yeah. Uh, I played with North Carolina State. McCall. <sighs> Man, he don't run good on the game. Really? I mean, he don't – he can't really get out of trouble. Like, there's – I don't know, man. <laughs> I've played not, with him. not impressed. Uh, Alabama, Jalen Milro is uh, nearly unstoppable. If he <laughs> takes off running – If he, he does as good in real life as he does on the game, he's going to win the Heisman. Huh? Yeah, probably. There's a good chance at it. And also, Tennessee. Mm. Nico, he's good. They got Squirrel White and him on the game. They're good. Yeah. They got some players. Yeah. The SEC is going to have some some good teams this year. Yeah, yeah, they are the really good teams. They're going to be some of their good teams go eight and four. 